trying out a new hair wash method. We got this stool, that stool, right here, which is one of the couch pillows. And I'm gonna see if this is a little better than her laying down. So we'll see how it goes. It's late, 9.44. Update, I really enjoy washing her hair right here. It's so much easier. She keeps her head flat mostly. There's no more sliding down. Let me see that hair. Ooh, pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Somebody's ready for kindergarten camp tomorrow. Come back. It's super late, but luckily kindergarten camp doesn't start till nine o'clock, so she should be okay. Let me see the front, come to mama. Come to mama, let me see the front. Turn around to me, face forward. Ooh, what do you think about your hair? Okay, cool. All right, time for bed. gosh we have so much to unpack okay it is monday it is the beginning of a new weekly vlog we are on weekly vlog five i can't even um let me turn my coffee shop music down i have a cup of joe i started the vlog last night just lots of like b-roll and just with vibes i'm kind of like i like to change up how i start each vlog um last night was sunday you guys saw me doing nova's hair and today is the first day of kindergarten camp so i was talking about it all last week um and the day is finally here nova i woke nova up around 7 30 i got out the bed about 6 45 my first alarm went off at 6 and then another one at like 6.30 or 6.15. And then again, I finally like, my, I think I was also excited just about everything today in kindergarten camp starting today. And just like, uh, I don't even know like what to do with myself. Like I cried at dropping Nova off this morning. I got up, made sure she had breakfast, cooked her some bacon and eggs. Um, and she ate, I opened her door and turned her sound machine off around 7.30 and I just kind of let her body wake her up she usually as soon as the sound machine goes off it's like it brings her out of her trance and she wakes up immediately when the sound machine goes off in the morning so i just walked in her room turned the machine off and walked back out into the kitchen to continue cooking and when she stretched she said kindergarten camp <laughs> it's like the first words that came out of her mouth this morning when she opened her eyes so she was excited she was definitely nervous she was um acting a little bit shy and just like i didn't think that i would freaking cry but y'all when i got to my car and i called her dad i i literally the, the the tears that were welling in the back just surfaced and i was like oh my god i can't believe i'm freaking crying like this is just kindergarten camp y'all she's only there this week from 9 a.m to noon um monday through thursday so she's not there all day it's not real school like i just i think that is just the beginning of the milestone and it's just all really really exciting last week was full of purchasing school stuff today i want to go and get her school supplies so i think i might do that when i go pick her up it's 1109 right now so i'll leave my house honestly around 11 50 because school is just that close so So I don't know if I'll, I don't know, maybe we'll go get her school supplies today, but I really wanted to get her school supplies when I fully, when I actually had her new book bag and I haven't purchased a new book bag yet. I was going to see if Nan and Papa, I think, you know, family members, grandparents, my sisters and stuff are all like wanting to get Nova things to help her, you know, start kindergarten and stuff. Want to get her some school uniforms, want to get her shoes, want to get her, you know, her book bag and her lunch box and things like that. So um, things are still trickling in. For the most part, she has everything she needs except for her book bag and her school supplies to be able to start school. School is still two weeks away though. So we have like a little bit of a time. Next week, we're going on a beach vacation to just help her commemorate the 
milestone of beginning kindergarten going to big girl school and finishing up you know the pre-k stage you know daycare stage and stuff like that so it's all really freaking exciting i've had a really easy morning i loved being able to get up and like slowly get together like get my things together i was able to meditate while nova had her breakfast um and then after i dropped nova off i pulled up to the gym and i just i don't know what my relationship is with the gym and like just like doing what's healthy for myself i need to really pray about it and just ask god for his hand over me about it because i literally like sat in front of the gym i booked myself a class y'all know i go to hot work so booked myself for a 9 30 cycle class and i just was like after just sitting here thinking i was like i just don't want to work out like i just don't and so i canceled my class and put my car in reverse and went home so <laughs> there's that 40 about 40 minutes until i need to go get nova so i'm trying to finish up client videos i just dumped my sd card i have oh it just feels so good it feels really nice to have like all of my weekly vlogs right here listed we're on weekly vlog five now so i'm jumping as i go and it's just like oh i hope you guys are enjoying them week five like we have a lot to talk about at that point at this point the girlies know about the vlogs and the weekly vlogs and been tuned in so i don't plan on letting up i plan on weekly vlogging for the rest of my life no i'm just kidding i don't know but you know we on a we on a roll right now so we're gonna see how long we can do weekly vlogs for but cheers to weekly vlog five welcome to the channel welcome to the video and let's just have a good week ahead i have a lot of flying this week and kindergarten camp and you know just all the things it'll be a very flight attendant heavy video which means it probably won't be as long of a vlog um but yeah here's to the new week it's gonna be a great one it is 11 48 so oh, <laughs> i just freaking jammed my nail um let's go get the baby kindergarten camp is ending here shortly for the west for the rest of the week she's actually gonna go to miss sharon's to her like to her like everyday daycare that she's been going to since two um she'll go to her normal like daycare after school every day or after kindergarten camp every day but today she's not going because we both have a dentist appointment today around 1 30 so we're going to um i'm gonna bring her back home give her some lunch and then we'll head out around one o'clock so that we can go and get our teeth done get our teeth checked she needs to get some fluoride on her teeth and my mom is a hygienist so we're literally going to go see my mom and get our teeth done i have some work that needs to be done on my mouth so i'm gonna get some of that checked out today and then probably rescheduled for what i need to get done for another time or whatever but but yeah let's go get the baby from school <laughs> brb i'm crying again my gosh tell us all about kindergarten camp what'd you draw it's a unicorn Ooh, are we all riding the unicorn yeah so mommy and daddy daddy has crazy hair because mm. he has curly, curly hair <laughs> and then my chief a tiger and I wrote it in purple oh, and green. Oh, cool, duty. Purple and green. Did okay. other kids know how to write their names on their papers? No. Did you have fun? You want to come back tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Okay. I never want to go back to school again. What were the names of the people you made friends with? You said you made friends? I made a friend who had a purple shirt on um, and straight hair mm -hmm. and... I'm gonna. I was thinking about making three friends because mm -hmm. that would be so cool. Y'all played on the playground together. Yeah. What? Were, were the teachers nice? Yes. Yeah. But some of the kids weren't listening. Uh oh. Were you listening? Mhm. Mm That's good. I was a good, 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 <laughs> good, good girl. Yeah, you gotta set the example for other kids if they're not listening. And I even played with Legos. 
I played, oh, played with, with Legos. I played with Play-Doh, magnetic toys, mm -hmm. and kitchen and Legos because I had a switch and switch. What's the name of your two new friends? Um, I don't remember. I told you that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you had a good first day at kindergarten camp. Let's call Daddy. Okay. Okay. Later. Oh my gosh, look at Nova's new toothbrush. She wanted me to hype it up for you guys to show y'all. Wow! Ariel. It's Ariel, it's Ariel, it's Ariel! Wow, let me see the bag. Those sparkles are doing it for me, girl. And there's even sparkles here. Come on, let's go brush your teeth. <sighs> it's past her bedtime. It's 9.17. And Nova's usually in the bed by like 8.30. So, there's that. But it's okay because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, I care birthday. No, it's not. We had dinner at one of my favorite Mexican spots. If you know, you know. If you know me personally, then you know what spot I'm talking about. But we met up with my mom, my sister, Dimitri met us there. Um, so it was a nice little time. A good food, as always. A very routine for that place. Like, they never miss always a hit so when we got home nova took a shower she's in her jammies we just read we just did story time online on facetime with my dad and stepmom so that was cute catching up with them and i'm also still trying to wrap this video up here i only have about two more clips left so it's like 55 Oh, literally, I'm on the last three clips of the video, so I should be done with this tonight. Get it exported, get my girl her birthday vlog. If you guys haven't seen Chanel's birthday vlog, you vlog, make sure you watch it, edited by moi. Um, there actually aren't really too many crazy edits on this video. It's kind of like one of those all over the place, kind of just high vibes video type thing. Also, I've been working here all day today. Usually I work at the desk, but today I've just been vibing with like this area for some reason. <sighs> I do have to go to work. I was gonna say unfortunately, but no, I'm very fortunate and thankful to have a whole career. So let me stop acting like I don't wanna go to work, but cause I do, gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm just doing a Vegas turn and I'm the A, I realized, um, which is cool. I'm not mad at it. It's not a red eye or anything. It's going to be too hard of a trip. And then I have a three days starting on Wednesday. And then I'm off Sunday, Saturday or Saturday, Sunday. But yeah, that's the evening vibes. I'm probably going to put her to bed and then put myself to bed because I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. I need to hop in the shower and do all the things, you know. So that's how the rest of our night going. Our night is going to go. And we'll see you guys in the morning for kindergarten camp day two and for work. <laughs> Day two. How you feeling this morning? I'm gonna go to kindergarten every day. I'm gonna go to kindergarten every day. Pretty yeah. soon, you only have today. You officially have two weeks before real school starts. I'm gonna go to kindergarten tomorrow. Yeah, so you'll continue to go to camp tomorrow and Thursday, and then. Miss Sharon is closed on Friday too, baby. So you'll be at Grandma's house. I think Daddy's gonna bring you to Grandma's on Thursday night or Friday. Okay. On the way, it is 8:50 on the dots, but that's good. We need to be in the car driving. It's literally her school is so close, which I'm thankful for. Like God forbid emergencies or just like me being able to go in and like I really want to be. Unfortunately, I just might be a helicopter mom because I need to know what's going on up in here. What's my baby learning? My baby's smart. Y'all got her reading books for real or y'all got her still learning her ABCs? For the sake of like not knowing where all the kids, you know, learning levels are and here. just, huh? Here. No, we're not. 
what all of her learning what all their learning levels are and just like doing things that are fun for the kids so I can understand why they're doing ABC bingo but like that just makes me so nervous for what they actually learn in kindergarten like oh I don't want Nova to be bored y'all Nova is smart I'm not even trying to be like oh my kid my kid no like Nova's reading at a first grade level. She's doing math problems. So I need them to be doing math problems with her. And if they're not, then I'm gonna really have to supplement here at home. They had you doing yoga yesterday? Mm -hmm. and the Mario Stretching it out? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's and good. Mario it was with a Mario game? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. Are you excited? Oh, coming from the back? No, this is the front of the school. I was about to say, is this the back? Mm hmm. No, Kumfiad. No, Kumfiad. Say bye to the vloggy vlog. What's up, yo? Girl. <laughs> say bye. Bye, yo. <laughs> bye, yo. All right, the day to drop off is complete um but nova was fine i said okay bye i love you so you want to take a picture today she's like no i'm good it's like all right so drop off is done so now i have like a few hours 9 10 11 I only have about two hours before i think i'm gonna leave my house around 11 45 i have to be to work at like 12 57 such a weird time but 12 57 and then um Dang, do I want to go get Chick-fil-A or should I cook breakfast at home? Chick-fil-A. That way I don't have to cook or clean up the kitchen or nothing like that. Well, I do still have to clean up the kitchen, but that way I don't really have to like cook and do none of that kind of stuff. Hey, how's it going? Jasmine. A number one with um, a vanilla iced coffee and grape jelly and ketchup. That's it. Thank you. You as well. I got a little sit up here. <laughs> because I don't have a coffee table yet. I be using this chair sometimes to eat on. But babes, a new season of Too Hot to Handle came on. And I was like, dang, I really want to watch Too Hot to Handle while I eat. But I also like, Ugh, it's too early for trash TV like that. And then at the same time, I'm like, now nah, F that. Time is a construct of white supremacy. Okay, let me at least watch it while I eat. I really, really do try to fill my mornings with things that are, that are enriching, soft jazz, classical music, coffee shop vibes. I'm usually reading my self-help books in the morning. I'm usually journaling, meditating, doing yoga. Like that is what my mornings provide because they provide me a lovely day ahead. And I will say like, forget the timing of it all. Like. Take time out of the, take time, like the concept of time out of the equation. When I open my eyes, I want to fulfill myself with enriching things so that the rest of my day can continue to be just as fulfilling as it was this morning. If I wake up every morning and I get straight on Instagram, like my mind is already being jaded for the day. Like I'm not giving myself the proper tools to have a, healthy mindset all day watching trash tv like this now tv i can disconnect myself like when it comes to like watching tv and things like that like i'm pretty okay in that that category when it comes to music though like i try not to listen to anything with sound these or words these days unless it's like beyonce or Echo. but i don't know but i don't know everything that we encounter and that our minds see and hear play on our subconscious when we think that it's not so I don't know I'm just very mindful about stuff like that but today we watch it we have to handle at 9 17 in the morning okay okay and I'm gonna enjoy this chick-fil-a that I shouldn't have bought okay okay mind your business not mine on the plane <sighs> just kind of chilling waiting for boarding to start I haven't been catered in the front we kind of just showed up for work so today I'm just doing a Vegas turn I am the flight leader so running things around here we're in a 757 um so i'm kind of like secluded up here with the first class because the main cabin and drum seats start at like the boarding door like the boarding door is in the center of the plane center it's not the center but it's behind first class so yeah I'll pretty much be up here doing my own thing so 
I'll more than likely see you guys when I'm done flying. Um, it's just a term. I get done late tonight, like 12 a.m. <laughs> so go there, come back. We get crew meals on this one too, so I'll probably eat on the plane. Once I'm on my little break, maybe I'll take a picture and show you guys what it looks like. But other than that, your favorite flight attendant is hard at work, so I'll see you guys later. Good morning. It is... It's Wednesday. Hi, pretty girl. Aww. Hey, sweet baby. <laughs> Nova's home. I've been sad all morning because my mom and daddy were rushing me to go to to go to school and I just wanted to tell my mom and my family and I felt pretty sad. Yeah, but we and talked I it through. I wanted to cry. I know, but we talked it through, right? And you yeah, were, you but know. I had to wake up and I said, do we have no more cuddles? And I said, my mommy said, yeah, but we just need to start waking you up earlier. Mm -hmm. I got home super late last night. I didn't get home till like 1.05. Then I was starving, so I needed to eat. And it was just like, I was already exhausted when I got home. And so, you know, getting up this morning was a struggle. I think I snoozed at least three to four alarms. Huh? We're about to go in two, literally one minute. So finish up your grapes and then put your shoes on. She's having a little fruit bowl for breakfast because all we have really time for. We literally are about to like walk out, Nunu. I'm starved. Not really, but I'm going to be so very hungry. I have an actual appointment, so I, um, usually when I don't have an appointment, I'd be up through there like waiting at the dough. But today I have an actual appointment. feeling feeling creamy today <laughs> hi I have a 10 o'clock with Cindy Cindy mm -hmm. okay so, uh... those look bomb.com Cindy literally never misses when it comes to me. So they look really good. Just cute little... I still consider this like a simple style, you know? Like, it's literally French tip. Like, with an extra line, so... Anyways, it's 11.30 now. T minus... Three hours before I need to be on the way to work i still have not cooked anything I'm watching fake profile it is like a spanish show but obviously is it called dubbed it's dubbed in english and i grabbed chick-fil-a for lunch this time we got pizza. no coffee because i made coffee this morning on the way to the nail salon i just got nuggets and fries so i'm gonna eat that real quick and then cook me whip up something i got like rice and meat and stuff over there real quick that i'm gonna whip up to bring with me to work it is 12 50 so i'm actually gonna get a ride to work today so i don't have to leave until later on july 19th has changed new report time is 16 15 on july 19th for flight press one to confirm receipt of this information you can view your full report I have been checking and checking and checking my schedule all day because the the company has been anticipating bad weather today since yesterday. They dropped IPY4 yesterday for all bases. So apparently the weather is just going to be a bad day for flying today. Um, but they, they issued IPY yesterday. Um, and so when they do it in advance like that, like you already know, like it's just, it's about to be weather it's gonna be some weather so um i've been checking 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 i'm like ain't no way especially coming from florida anything to or from florida even on a day that weather isn't anticipated it rains around two or three o'clock every day in florida <laughs> so i feel like um i just knew like my first flight would be delayed and sure enough it's delayed it was supposed to be departure at 447 and now their departure is 515 so anytime that you're 
first flight is delayed like that, you can call into crew scheduling and ask them like um, if you can push your report time back. So that's what I did. Mm, water is so good. Jesus, help me. some comfortable clothes pajamas obviously um but i'm starving i'm so hungry i haven't eaten a hot meal since i had chick-fil-a earlier so i'm freaking ready to devour anything i'm proud of myself for not ordering doordash because i was this close this close to ordering something in the van to have it ready for when i get to the hotel but i didn't i heated up my little tacos that i made at home um and luckily in this um hotel they have a 24-hour market with hot food ready to make hot food like a hell of a bonus like love that for us um but i have my little setup here so i do have two beds today this is my sleep bed i always sleep on the bed that is farthest away from the door um and then i got my little setup going on right here so i'm gonna eat some tacos have a little treat after and watch love island because why not anyways i'm supposed to be hanging out with chanelle tomorrow she is in cincinnati um so we'll see how the day goes tomorrow <laughs> I wasn't like in the bed till at least like 2.30. Oh my days, mate. Oh my days. 10.14. I am bringing my laptop and other work stuff. And baby, the braids is going on day three. <laughs> I'm gonna take them out tonight and wear my hair out for work. We have two flights today later. Um, but for now, they're staying in. I didn't see any point in taking my braids out just yet because I wanted my braid out to still like look good later. I need coffee like yesterday. On today's episode of Jazz and Chanelli. <laughs> what if we made a channel together and got the weekly vlog a week? Of us just doing bullshit. Just doing How to be entrepreneurs. I know, right? <laughs> Panera. Where is the Panera? Oh, there's Starbucks. Yeah. Okay, was, so we can hit that on the way back. Yes. Ooh, Taco Bell. Light on. Uh oh. I actually crispy. don't like hot um Krispy Kreme. Really? I don't. Oh. I don't. It's too oily and like mushy. Oh, yeah. Krispy Kreme donuts are. I like the mush in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's in this little plaza right here? That's what I was like, like I am a Dunkin' Donut girl. Donuts, like I like their donuts, but really? not all of them. Like their blueberry cake donut, amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but like Krispy Kreme's donuts are a one, obviously. But to me, just not when they hot. Like the hot sign don't phase you, girl, because mm -hmm. it don't. I'll be waiting until they cool down, anyways. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Cause it when you chew into it, I can like taste the oil. It's like a dope. I get what you're saying. I love that. It's like <laughs> melting. In your Dang, I should have got your nails a little bit more in the frame. Got some scorpions and a couple of food items. Cause we're so hungry. Our stomachs are touching our back. Many unbearable hours later. It's one in the morning, which is one, two, three, four in the morning in Atlanta. I'm in San Diego. It's the same day. Well, technically, it's technically it's Friday now, but I'm gonna still put this in Thursday. <laughs> this day of content. Everything just really. Know, I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi real quick so I can watch Love Island season ten. Um, while I eat my food, it's literally deja vu. Like the same thing I was doing last night is what I'm doing. I'm even eating the same thing. I usually bring two of each kind of meal. So I haven't even ate my chicken fried rice. I've just been eating my tacos. Um, I had a crew meal today. Well, it wasn't even crew meal. It was a first class meal. Like about six people didn't eat. Um, well, for like dinner earlier, I had lunch with Chanel. I didn't 
pull out my phone or anything my camera or anything when we were together because we had a pretty good productive like little work day earlier together i came back took a 45 minute nap got dressed went to work we did cincinnati to salt lake city which was three and a half hours and then salt lake city to san diego and it's crazy because tomorrow's flying is even longer so it was a i mean by the end of it i was pretty freaking tired I got a call for the freaking Wi-Fi because it's not working. Anyways. Good morning. Got a little ponytail today. Cute. A little braided pony. Um, another day, another day of flying. <laughs> um, it's go home day, but it's a long, it's going to be long flights today. So, or a lot of hours flying today. We're going from San Diego to Detroit, which is like a four hour flight and then Detroit to Atlanta. And then we're done tonight around 1130. Um, so another late night, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully it's a good day. Um, and yeah, I slept literally used every hour because we had minimum rest we had only 11 hours here so i literally only had time to get into my room change my clothes <laughs> um eat dinner and go to bed like so that's all i did last night and then woke up right when i needed to this morning hopped in the shower did all my things and now it is 10 55 and pickups at 11 so let's head down i'm actually right by the elevator so it shouldn't take me long to get downstairs so let's go have a good day of flying y'all it has been a mother freaking day okay Whew. it's just been one of those days now we're delayed coming out of detroit going into atlanta because weather in, in atlanta right now is crazy like so bad but it looks like we're going to be able to push and go but they have extended our route like um usually detroit to atlanta is about like 120 babes they have us blocked at 305 so much longer like but the last flight was such a doozy like i don't even have the words to explain that flight <laughs> i'll be honest with y'all so i'm ready to just get this one done and be at the house it's showing we're not gonna be home until like 1 25 in the morning y'all just insane so our original release time was 11 30. say a prayer i'll see y'all in atlanta hi everybody it is what's today sunday god it's sunday y'all yesterday i had a baby shower to go to we were gonna go see wicked on broadway i had a whole itinerary in the day just did not happen like i thought it was gonna be i don't even think i picked the camera up once yesterday like Ugh, just everything just did not go to plan yesterday nova's not even here we we're supposed to i was supposed to spend the day with her yesterday um she was gonna come to the baby shower with me and us and some other things and so i'm just like discombobulated like that trip threw me all the way off y'all like getting back at two in the morning no leaving the airport at 2 30 on on friday like sent me like not only that like i don't think i went to sleep till like 5 a.m the next day and just like i've just been out of wonks since that trip and so now it's sunday i've been literally sleeping all day it is 12 37 i was up at 12 um well i was up this morning around 8 um and i was up i kind of just like got up and then i laid back down and of course went right back to sleep um and so i just got up chanel called me because i had mentioned to her like because we live so close i'm like i gotta go to target you need anything like i can pick you up or whatever so i text her that at like 9 30 though <laughs> and so i was like okay I was, and, then, and when i text her i was like okay like in the next hour i'll call I'll, i'm still laying around in the next hour um or so and then girl and then i woke up at noon to her calling me and saying hey just wanted to wake you up in case you actually wanted to do things today um like in case i wanted to like be productive you know for myself and i really do i really need to clean my house it's sunday i need to just like reset for the week because i fly out again tomorrow for three days so 
I need to like just like reset it'd be moments like this where like I'm in and out like I just want to cry like I just want to sob because I don't want to leave again for another three days like I'm just now gathering my bearings today and it's 12 o'clock two days later like it's just like sometimes really 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 hard with this job emotionally um because when you're so tired and a trip wins you like that it's like when do I have time to get my th get myself and my life together? Like, today's the day, right? But now I'm doing that in anticipation to, like, leave again. So it's like, I don't know. It just, I just feel stress and anxiety. <laughs> and I'm trying not to feel that way, but I feel that way. And I just have to figure out how to just keep pushing forward. If I could have just one more off day, like, that would really, 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 really help me. So right now I'm about to head out to Target. I have a couple of things I need to get. Um... Food wise, home wise, um, and the main priority is school supplies. I'm going to look at the prices of the school supplies at Target. And then I'm going to look at the prices at Walmart. If the prices aren't bad at Target, I'm going to just go ahead and, and shop. Like, But I want to make sure that I'm not like how I did with the school uniforms. I just went ahead and bought the school uniforms on Amazon low-key a little pressured by my sister because we were on the phone and we were just doing it and um and like the stuff that I bought some of the stuff were like were definitely more expensive on Amazon plus shipping and all that stuff when the stuff when most of the stuff in the stores were like five to eight dollars versus like ten to twelve like when I purchased them so not everything was more expensive but mm -hmm. we're currently on the hunt for random buggies girl ain't nobody right here just take it but we we said it out loud anything before we land anything before we land <laughs> car is full of stuff but i really need to go school shopping because one week away big girl school so i have no shopping list so i might as well just get it done now while i'm here Thank mm -hmm. you.